I remember keeping, and I, I never, never really told the person or people who were involved, but I knew somebody once. And who, we know who it is. Yeah, you do now. <laughs> <laughs> um, who was actually taking money from me, and I knew they were. So I was driving myself insane, thinking, have, have I spent it? Have I lost it? What is going on? But I had a, a real strong, you know, when you get that gut feeling that this particular person was, was taking the money, and I ended up putting my bag on the side, counting exactly what was in it, knowing that it was me and that person were the only people in the house, going back to it and there was a, a portion of it missing. And I absolutely, at that them? point... I didn't. No. And it's, it's, I've still, to this day, I haven't said anything to them because it was, a, um, it was somebody of an ex-partner's mm. family member. They were known now? Well, well yeah, they probably... They, well, the person they know, know who they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and they've got to live with that guilt, actually, essentially, at the end of the day. But what it would have done to my relationship at the time, and probably my relationship with the family, yeah. you know, would have been far worse than asking for and my money And then did you back. have to still be around that person and that deal with the them worst. in kind of social situations? Yeah, that was yeah. the worst part of it. You know, obviously, because, it's, you know, I'm not just going to stop talking did to them. Did you just glare at them a lot? I just remember everything they ever bought, I assumed it was with my money. And, <laughs> and, and I know that sounds awful, because it probably wasn't, but I knew that they were taking from me and I still had a note in the bag with their names saying, I know I've you're taking it. Well, I've got loads of...